This video shows you how to format your 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch hard disk drive using your USB 3.0 SATA hard drive flat docking station as well as your 2.5 SATA to USB hard drive caddy HDD enclosure. So first we're taking out the hard drive dock you know from the wrap okay and one of the major advantages of this dock is that you can interface it with a 2.5 inch HDD SATA drive or a 3.5 inch okay and next we've got the USB 3.0 cable that will connect the dock to the computer and next we've got a power adapter that we can plug into the mains and that would, would essentially provide power to the 3.5 inch HDD drive the power adapter also supports a 2.5 inch HDD drive but you necessarily don't need it as a USB or a 2.5 SATA to USB hard drive caddy should be enough to, to power on your, your 2.5 inch SATA hard drive USB ports only supply a limited amount of power so they're not enough to power your 3.5 inch um, HDD drive so you will definitely need a power adapter for the 3.5 inch okay and like I said not necessarily for the 2.5 inch okay but you can still power your 2.5 inch with the power adapter it's, up, it's pretty much up to you you can see at the back of the dock one connection is for your power adapter and the other connection is for your USB okay so first let's hook up the USB 3.0 cable to the USB 3.0 cable interface if the other end of the cable goes into your computer okay this end goes into your computer and then subsequently connect the three pin mains accessory to the power adapter cable you can use either of them accessories when you slot it in rotate clockwise to key the accessory into position and rotate anti-clockwise whilst pressing the pin on the accessory to take the accessory out of the um, adapter okay but we need it in so we're going to stick it back in okay just ensure that you don't snap the knob when you're trying to get it out just press down the, the knob first before you get the accessory and then subsequently plug in the power cable into the power cable interface if you take a closer look at the dock in the enclosure you can see an L-shaped SATA interface that matches the 3.5 inch L-shaped um, interface that it's got so we're going to slide that into the dock and when we want to read it and the HDD should key in seamlessly into the SATA interface of the um, dock just push it gently in so that it locks in into the SATA interface then close the lid okay Connect the other end of the USB 3.0 cable into your USB port of your computer and then subsequently connect your power adapter into the power cables interface and then the other three pin end into the mains and switch on the power button. So first we're going to try to read the 3.5 inch disc in the Mac computer and then subsequently format it. So first we click on find that to see if our computer recognizes a 3.5 inch HDD disk and it shows up as volumeable. And then to format it we click on find that to access disk utility. And once it loads up click erase and choose the required format. Mac OS extended journal is Mac read write only. But if you click erase and then subsequently choose XFAT, which is the format that you re we require, you can read write both on Mac and Windows. Uh, you can choose any name you want. So I'll rename the name of the um, of the hard drive to Seagate 500 gigabytes 3.5. If you choose most secure in your security options, it essentially means that it writes multiple passes of zeros, ones, and random data over the entire disk. Suffice to say it erases the information used to access your files and writes over the data seven times making it almost virtually impossible to retrieve your files using the recovery software so i will go with the fastest which is more like a quick format still works for me but if you're worried about you know um your data you could use the fastest one it's, it's pretty much up to you okay and as you can see the format was successful in xfat okay 
right click the get info tab and you will definitely see that it's an X factor if you want to confirm. I'm just going to paste a random file just to make sure that you know I can read and I can also write onto the disk. If you've got disk errors, you know, go back to your disk utility and use them first aid to find and repair your disk error. So I will disconnect the 3.5 hard drives USB and connect it again just to make sure that my Mac computer recognizes the formatted hard drive. And if I click on the file, I can access and modify the file. Click on the link in the description to see how to format the 2.5 and the 3.5 inch respectively, as well as other disk repair troubleshooting tips. The next step would be to format the 3.5 in Windows and then subsequently format the 2.5 in Windows, okay, and Mark as well. The next step of the process would be to power on our 3.5 inch drive via the docking station so that the Windows computer recognizes um, the hard drive. And that's the 3.5 inch hard disk drive that was formatted on the Mark that now appears on the Windows. So we right click on start and go to disk management. Or we can access disk management via computer management. And you can clearly see the disk one is our external 3.5 inch um, XFAT disk that was formatted previously in Mark. So right click on that volume and delete it. Do not del delete your disk zero or your um, C drive because that would lead to serious systemic issues within uh, your computer. Okay, so just delete the volume, you know, on disk one and you should be fine. Okay, so right click on the disk one volume and um, delete the volume. Okay. It is pertinent that you take cognizance of the volume that you're deleting and also back up your files before you erase any of the any of them volumes or delete any of them volumes on your computer. The next step would be to right click and click on new simple volume and just follow the rest of the process through. You can choose the format in NTFS or XFAT. With XFAT you can read and write in Windows and Mark. And with NTFS, Apple Mac operating systems like Big Sur, Catalina, and even all the operating systems can read Windows formatted NTFS drives, okay? So, shouldn't be a problem. Except you're starving for disk space and performance, I wouldn't want to click File and Fold that compression. As it compresses the entire partition with Windows file compression, everything on your partition will be compressed, as well as any new files added later. So it's pretty much up to you. I'll just select quick format and rename the volume label. And as you can see, we successfully formatted the 3.5 inch hard drive in Windows and we can safely eject the hard drive from our computer. And to test our hypothesis, we can plug the hard drive back into Mac to see if it reads the formatted hard drive from Windows, which is the 3.5 inch, okay, in NTFS. Just right click and um, click on get info. And as you can see, it actually recognizes the NTFS file system. And if you're unable to um, save a file onto the NTFS in Mark, you know, just reformat it to XFAT and you should be able to save files onto it and, you know, open up the files. As you can see, I'm unable to save files onto NTFS in Mark. I don't know why that is. So all I just do is just reformat it, you know, to XFAT and I should be able to um, access the files. And see, this is what I mean here. I'm unable to paste any file onto it. There is no paste option. And I'm unable to also drag a file onto the drive. So I will just reformat it, okay? Keep the name and just change the format to XFAT so it's and both Mac and Windows compatible. And that should resolve the problem. So I should be able to paste now and also drag onto the um, 3.5 inch formatted hard drive. And I can also open up the file. So now let's proceed to repeat and reproduce the process for a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, external hard drive. I've just got my measuring tape. There's no way of telling, you know, um, what it measures unless you measure it. So let's measure the um, 2.5 inch disc. And as you can see, it's approximately 2.5 inch, so that's fine. It's got the same L-shaped pin connections that would fit easily into the USB 3.0 SATA hard drive flat docking station. 
if they were just straight pins and not L-shaped, you know, it would be reminiscent of the IDE old um, external hard drives, but this is a SATA hard drive, okay? Even if it doesn't state categorically on the hard drive that it's a SATA hard drive, it's about 80 gigabytes um, storage. So just as in the case of the 3.5, the um, pin connections will, will be keying in into the docking station here. And so just repeat and reproduce the process as done previously before, okay? And so you can see that the docking station is quite versatile. It can take 2.5 and 3.5 um, inch drives, but it just takes up a smaller space. Or if you haven't got a docking station, you can utilize the 2.5 SATA to USB hard drive caddy um, with its HDD enclosure. Just slot the hard drive in to one of its accessory or its external peripherals. Slide that into the external case and connect the USB to your computer. Just as we did in the case of the 3.5, the 2.5's format is in XFAT, so Mac, my Mac computer should be able to read it. If it's not reading it, just make sure that you um, properly key in the accessory or peripheral, and you know it should it should come up on your computer. If not, repair disk in your terminal or your first aid. Okay. I have found the docking stations to be more reliable than the caddies, you know, it's depending on what you've got, you know, just make, make use of it. But bottom line is that the 2.5 in XFAT, you know, shows up um, with the caddy on your Mac computer and you can format it to XFAT or whatever format you want to, okay? So now that we're done with the caddy, we can test it out in the, in the um, docking station. So you slide the L-shaped pins in the 2.5 hard disk into its mating pins in the docking station. And as you can see, the docking station um, recognizes the 2.5 HDD disk almost immediately. Okay, And you know, your Mac computer also recognizes the XFAT format of the 2.5 inch hard drive. Click on Get Info and you can find the format of the disk. Repeat and reproduce the process, you know, pretty much eject the disk and test it out in Windows to see if it recognizes um, the disk and the, um, the format. And as you can see, as soon as I plug in the docking station's USB on the right hand corner, it recognizes um, the disk. And you can keep ejecting and reinstalling. Windows will always recognize the XFAT file. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it, really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. It helps the channel grow, and hopefully catch up with you later. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.